You see it every four years in the Olympics. Now the sport of curling is attracting people of all ages in the Brainerd Lakes area, thanks to the Brainerd Curling Association's Community Curling Night taking place this past Saturday. We invited members of the community to come in and experience curling for the first time. Um, we offer an introduction to curling, a few minutes on the ice, just to get them familiar with what curling is. Those who are expert players of the game compare the sport to a popular board game, although not played on ice. It's like chess. It's a strategy game. you got to think about each, uh, each shot you do. Um, you know, you kind of have to put your mind to it. It's more of a mind game. I just really love it. It's great exercise. JJ has been curling since his father introduced him to the sport at a very young age. To JJ, curling is much more than a sport. Once I was done playing hockey, I kind of picked this up as a full-time kind of sport and uh, slowly started to get more and more good and, you know, it's become uh, about my entire life. So it's a great sport. absolutely love it. I couldn't have had a uh, wrist or anything else. Now, curling has been popular in Canada for decades, but it's finally starting to catch on here in the United States. And as Mary Jo Hamilton put it, it's currently the fastest growing sport in the country. Canadians are veteran curlers. They start when they're in kindergarten, if not before. The United States has been very slow and it's mostly in the northern tier states of the United States. Just in case you are thinking of joining a league or learning how to play, know that the Brainerd Curling Club is only open during the curling season. We operate from the 1st of October every year through March 31st and then the curling season is over. You can see curling featured again in the Winter Olympics happening early next year. Reporting in Brainerd, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News.